So this is my BBC Master 128 computer. Sorry, the camera's a bit wobbly because I'm using my handheld mobile phone because I haven't got my digital camera anymore. So apologies for the state of the video footage. But I've decided to put this on here because I'm aiming to sell this particular piece of equipment. So I thought I'd show you guys the outside, the keys, and obviously you see they're British Broadcast Company Master Series Microcomputer. And that's the keyboard and all its glory. There's no damage to any of the keys. There are no loose keys. And the print on the keys are actually in good condition. So there's not much really wrong. I think I want to get to the next part of the clip. I think I'll put my phone on the uh, tripod. But anyhow, let's lift this upside down. in a second so we can have a look at the serial number etc etc if you're wanting to know further details and you can see the colouring it's not yellowed too badly on the case most of these systems showing their age they use bromide in the plastic which generally goes yellow this case is actually not too bad and obviously you've got all your prerequisite expansion ports for all your different peripherals, peripherals, however you spell it. There's a power adapter thing here, I'm not sure if that's for powering something else or whether that's a, an external input, I'm not sure, I'm not a, I'm not a um, clued up on these 100%, but all the rubber feet are intact as well. Quite a lot of ventilation, not that I've noticed it gets hot, but built with belt, belt and braces back in the day so that's another advantage of older computers so you can see the whole bottom so you can see the feet are all intact none of them have been replaced it does actually look pretty damn good I can't remember where I actually got this from I think I've had it for quite a while I actually think I got it from my um, sixth form college back in the day when I was a boy and I've just had it in storage ever since in a couple of plastic bags to prevent any moisture there's the serial number and also the other details like power input and whatnot and I said all the screws are intact there's another sticker there I'm not sure I can't really read that on the, the camera so you have to watch this in HD to have a look and on the top side, there's a little bit of rust on the metal connections, as you would expect. But EcoNet, that's an old network um, connection. Can't remember what for. Audio output, cassette tape external, RS-423 for peripherals, analog output, not sure, RGB for monitor, composite video, and UHF, which you attach to uh, an old school TV, like not flat screen. So I've not got a TV at the moment where I can actually plug this into, all I have is monitors. But I do assure you that this unit does power up. And there's the power specifications. The line cord is actually good condition as well. Which is good as well. So the actual power supply unit I've looked at, the caps don't look like they need replacing. They probably do, but I've not yet done so. So let me know if you want me to recap it and I'll put some Rubicon on the Chicon, Chemicon, decent capacitors inside if you require me to do so so let's lay this back down here and what we'll do we'll give it a go on opening it and I'll show you the insides right there's a screwdriver at the ready here we go so there's these four big metal screws I think these two short ones I think we're using the wrong screwdriver we'll grab the other one Okay. This one should do. Uh, yep, yeah, that's better. There we go. So these are the shorter screws. Bottom left and bottom right. Okay. 
left my microphone there we put that away I'm not using that one by the way I did a voiceover because I think it's a bit better easier to annotate videos second screw right hand side these are quite short these screws they're self tappers they go straight into the plastic so I mean they're quite short the other two screws I think they're in the middle two in the sort of centre-ish position I think so this one here keep it in shot might help and I say these two are actually longer screws I'll show you that in a second and they've still got quite a lot of bite on them even though they are self tappers and obviously it's been opened probably many times before me getting my dirty hands on it but they're still tight enough to keep the chassis together so that's good there's a little screw hole there, I think it's for the power supply, and I think these are as well. I'm not sure. I'll have a look at it in a moment, see if we can get the case off for now. Move the line cord out of the way. I don't just have a moment to have a look at its glory in all its glory and fashion as it was back in the 80s uh, so good to see companies that make computers that lasted forever because this thing is how old now probably about the same age as me probably approaching 40 years old that's absolutely crazy right let's just zoom in just a little bit just on this middle section and the connectors for the keyboard are still intact there's no damage the wiring looms from the power supply are still there also it didn't come with the original battery I'm not sure if I removed it or whether it came with it and when I got it I really can't remember but there is a position for a battery under there it says obviously attention be careful but you can put one in there if you so wish just goes in that section let's bring the camera the, the item into the centre of the screen might be a bit easier to look at and we'll move it up just a little bit there we go so that's the power supply there's the cable connections nothing seems to be modded all original and I'll give you a close-up of those as well and the power supply the labels upside down so I'll show you that in a in a bit when I turn the thing around the line cord is also original not sure if I mentioned that already I probably did but nothing seems to be modded there's no signs of corrosion from the battery either so there's no corrosion damage on the inside some sort of connector there I'm not sure maybe another connector there for JTAG or sound or extra boards I'm not sure never played about with expansion stuff with this one but again no evidence of any modding of any kind which is good to see all original there's the back connectors there a little bit of rust on some of them but not too bad Some more edge connectors there, pin connectors for something, I don't know. Some additional ROM spaces there, so you can put your own ROM chips in. Different system upgrades and all that jazz. Not very well designed, look, that last one's going right under the plastic. Oh well. So I'll just go over the board here, there's a CPU and sound chip and the RAM and the ROMs and all that kind of technical jargon stuff input and output controllers which is what the resistors are there for probably from the keyboard controller um, yeah it still has its original speaker which is there still intact not damaged and still beeps I do think and so I powered on and tested this puppy it does actually work 
and let's have a look around the other side. I was put the camera in the wrong position, so bear with me. Not sure why I did that. I'm doing a voiceover at the moment, so I can't actually remember what I was doing, but yeah, you can see on the inside, it's quite a beefy power supply. A switch mode, not a transformer based, a linear, uh, a linear power supply, so that's good for its day. Um, let's have a look at the power supply serial number. There we go. It's got part number, serial number, and obviously caution, don't touch because it's electrical. So yeah, if you're interested in buying this, please let me know. I'll leave a link down below for Gumtree and UK buyers only. Thanks for watching.